ombi limewasilishwa mbele ya tume ya huduma za mahakama JC ili kumtaka jaji mkuu Mathakome aondolee ofisini kesi hiyo kihusishwa na uteuzi wa wanachama wa wanachama uh, 22 wa mahakama ya rufaa ya ushuru aliofanya mwaka jana kome Michael Kojo Tieno anadai kuwa jaji mkuu alikiuka kanuni na maadili ya mahakama katika uteuzi huo na vile vile kuwabagua baadhi ya wale waliotuma maombi ya kuwa wanachama wa bodi hiyo na mwanahabari wetu Grace Ahata na vyotu harifu Tieno amedai kuwa jaji mkuu kome anapaswa kuondolewa madarakani na wala hafai kushikilia wadhifa huo kwa sababu za kukiuka sheria <tune> Siku chache baada ya jaji mkuu Martha Koome kutetea mahakama dhidi ya tuhuma za ufisadi kutoka kwa serikali sasa ombi limewasilishwa kutaka aondolewe afisini kwa madai ya kupuuza sheria zilizo ainishwa kwenye katiba kwa mjibu wa mlalamishi Michael Kojo Otieno jaji mkuu mnamo Mei tarehe kumi mwaka 2023 alikiuka sheria kwa kutumia kifungu cha sheria ambacho kilikuwa kimere kebishwa kwa kuwateua wanachama ishirini na wawili kuhudumu katika mahakama ya rufaa ya ushuru Kenya did not comply with the provisions express clear provisions from prima facie evidence on recruitment of members at the tax appeal tribunal whereas the powers which had been conferred upon the chief justice she relied on an old law instead of a new law The Tax Appeal Tribunal Amendment Act of 2022. Kando na madai ya ukiukaji wa kanuni na maadili za mahakama, mlalamishi huyo aidha amemkosoa Koome kwa kuwatwika walipa ushuru mzigo zaidi kufuatia uamuzi wa kuwateua wajumbe wawili wa ziada ambao hawakutengewa bajeti. Together with Article 73 1, Article 73A which talks about public trust to be exercised in a manner that Uh, vest in the state officer the responsibility to serve the people rather than to rule over them that one clearly indicates that if you've appointed more people than the expected number then definitely you want to have power to rule over them Otieno wakati huo huo amemshutumu Koome kwa kukosa kuwa muwazi na kuzingatia sheria katika majukumu yake ambayo kulingana na mlalamishi huyo masuala haya ni muhimu katika kukuza imani ya wananchi katika mfumo wa sheria nchini. Rule 35 uh, talks to uh, states that a judicial officer shall ex exhibit respect to the rule of law, comply with law, avoid impropriety and appearance of impropriety and act in a manner that promotes public confidence in the integrity and impartiality of the judicial service that one definitely clearly indicates that the CJ did not comply with the law ombi la kutaka jaji mkuu aondolewe ofisini linajiri takriban mwaka mmoja baada ya Koome kuwateua wanachama wapya wa mahakama ya rufaa ya ushuru katika notisi ya gazeti la serikali la Mei tarehe kumi mwaka 2023 Koome alisema kuwa wanachama wapya walioteuliwa kupitia tume ya huduma za mahakama JSC watahudumu kwa muda wa miaka mitatu Power! Power! Pipa pawa! Long live! Niki ripoti ya dira, me and grace, ahati. Down with the dictatorship, down! Down!